Welcome to today's Hispanic Heritage Month celebration sponsored by the San Antonio Public Library and the Canary Islands Descendants Association of San Antonio. We are honored to have been asked by the library to participate in their Hispanic Heritage Month celebration. Today, I will share with you some history that involves our ancestors. And while we represent the Canary Islands Descendants Association and are proud of our Isleño ancestors, we are also proud of our other ancestors that played an equally important part of San Antonio's history. Our presentation will highlight the major key events of our beloved city's history, some of our ancestors who had a role in those events, and we'll share with you just a handful of the thousands of cousins who today share in this rich history and heritage. I was here then and I'm still here today. I was here then. And I'm still here today. I was here then when the air was pure, the land vast, the fish and wildlife bountiful. Our neighbors were the Carancoas, the Caigua the Apaches, the Comanches. We were known as Coahuiltecans. Soon, we would have others join us, the Payaya, the Pamaya, the Takame, the Sana, the Coco, the Utah, just to name a few. We have been here for hundreds of years. And I'm still here today. You can find me visiting some of my ancestral homes, the missions of San Antonio. My story is not well told. I dance so others will know some of my story as well as my history. I lead tours in our ancestral homes so others will know the other truths. I speak in our native tongues to keep our traditions alive. I am still here today. I was here then, among the first entradas into la provincia de Texas. I am one of the first soldados. I named the Nueces and the Yanaguana. I explored as far east as Louisiana and lived among los Indios. I established a presidio de San Antonio de Valero almost 300 years ago. I engineered the acequias and led los Indios into building them and the missions. I served in the presidios far and near. I protected our families against some of the warring natives. I was here then, and I'm still here today. I've descended from many of the soldiers who served our provincia, our estado, our republic, our nation throughout the 300 years. I have served our nation myself. I research my soldier citizen ancestors and share their story with others. I defend their honor as they defended mine, oh so long ago. I was here then, as we boarded the ship in the Canary Islands and began our year-long journey to Nueva España. I was here then when we arrived at Veracruz buried our compadres, and began our months-long journey on foot, joining together as a new family until we arrived and established La Via de San Fernando and the church you now know as San Fernando Cathedral, as well as the first municipal government. I was here then. And I'm still here today. I continue to kneel on the church floor that has served our God and our people for more than 270 years. I gather my cousins together to recognize and celebrate all that has been done for our community. I share with others our history so that they may know who we are, Canarios, Tejanos.
I was here then when we served with Don Bernardo Gavez and gathered up our cattle to aid the Americans in their battle against the British. Our ranches were spread far and wide, some near La Medina, others El Arroyo Cibolo, and yet others as far south as La Bahia, what we now call Goliad. I was here then when we drove more than 11,000 cattle over three years to Louisiana to ship to the starving Americans during their revolution. Today I am still here. I am a son or a daughter of the American Revolution. You can still find me on my original ranch land that I've maintained over hundreds of years, or you can find me at home resting my weary bones after having served at Normandy during World War II. You may find me in D.C. as the Assistant Secretary of the Army or providing security for our community. You may find me as a pharmacist, a teacher, a nurse, a doctor, a technology executive, or a mother. I am still here. I was here then when we heard a grito from Father Hidalgo. Here then when, in 1811, we led a counter-revolution against the La Casas. I was here then when Gutierrez de Lara presented the first Declaration of Independence at the Plaza de Armas. I was here then when we raised arms against Arredondo and his Spanish army in our quest for freedom, the same freedom that Father Hidalgo sought. I was here then, pouring my blood into the earth as I lay on the battlefield. I was executed in La Plaza. I fled for my life and sought refuge in Louisiana. I was here then, when they took all that I owned and gave it away. And I'm still here today. Today I enjoy the freedom we sought 200 years ago. I enjoy the freedom that was paid for by thousands of lies that have gone before me. I am here today because of all of those who were so brave to stand up when others laid down. To let my voice be heard when others were silent. To give of my life and be free where others were happy to live and be forever in the bonds of the oppressors. I was here then when we again rose up in arms to battle for the right to be self-governed. When we banded together with the Americans to fight Cos and Santa Ana. I was here then carrying messages to our leaders letting them know of our plights in El Alimo. I was here then, cooking for and tending to the soldiers. I was here then, born within the walls of El Alimo, and died here defending my birthplace, my home. And I'm still here today, explaining to others, those that will listen, why it's important to celebrate and promote our history. I'm still here today striving to find our history and bring it out into the light of, from the dark, the dark recesses that have been long forgotten and ignored. I have worked long hours to establish a marker to pay tribute to the brave mothers, sisters, and daughters who survived the battle but suffered the scars of war. I am still here today. I was here then when we established the Republic and penned our names to the Declaration of Independence. I was here then leading others and protecting our community from those who sought to harm it. I was a soldier, a statesman, a father, a colonel, a vaquero, a farmer, and an alcalde. But it wouldn't be long before I became a foreigner in my own land. I remained hiding Rancho to Rancho for 15 days. Eventually, I would leave my beloved country for fear for my life. I was here then. But I'm back, and I'm still here today. I live on in the place I've always called home, 
on the land where I felt safe and secure with other families close, close by. I often pay tribute to our accomplishments of years past in hopes that others will appreciate the goodness and learn from our mistakes. I am young, both at heart and mind, though sometimes not in age. I walk in the footsteps you set before me and shine in the light of your deeds. I bathe in pride, knowing I am you and you I. I am still here today. I was here then as times began to change, as we all became a foreigner in our own land. I was here with my careta, bringing goods to and fro. I and my careta were ambushed. My goods destroyed and my life was taken simply because they, they did not understand our language, our way of life. I was here then when once again, we raised arms. We raised arms against our brothers, us in gray, they in blue. I was here then, leading armies of men and employing the careteros whom helped promote me to one of the highest of ranks. I was here then. I was here. And I'm still here today. I raise arms, but not against my brothers but in defense of our nation. I am here to get today educating others in the halls of higher learning. I am here today serving my neighbors, my community, as a civil servant, a first responder, a doctor, a mother, a nurse, a scientist, a legislator. I am still here today. My existence runs through the veins of my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, grand nieces and nephews. I am here today. You can find me in El Campo Santo, in the cathedral, in the river, on the land. I am here today in each of you, you that have come after me and from those who came from me. I was here then and I'm still here today.